What's going on guys? It's your boy Turbo by Reacts here and I'm back with some more Hunter Hunter reactions. We are about to start a new arc. I think this is the final arc. I'm not sure. Um anyways, but you guys have been hyping me up about this arc in the story it being maybe the best arc in the anime history. So, you guys said the writing goes up you know 10 20 times better and you all know what we do over here we analyze the crap out of these animes and you know just enjoying great writing is what we do over here it's not just we we enjoy the entertainment just as much as we enjoy the you know the complex um parts of you know whatever we're watching so if you have great appreciation for writing for you know storytelling and stuff like that um this is a channel for you anyways um you know we agree to disagree a lot um sometimes over here you know i might have a different opinion than yours but opinions are always welcome on this channel so somebody in the comment section on my last video told me that there's a new opening for this episode um episode 76 starting this arc and i'm not gonna watch the opening i'm gonna listen to it to see if the song changed um i don't know what happens okay so i'm going to explain why i'm not going to watch the opening i'm not watching the opening because i know that animes are famous for when they're going into new arcs they start showing new characters that are going to be in that arc now the reason why i'm not going to do that is because i know they're going to be characters there because i remember back when your new city's arc was starting they started they they had um some of the troop members in the opening i know they're going to do the same thing again by showing characters you know what I'm saying? That I want to find out who these characters are. I want, I really do. You know what I'm saying? And some of you guys, you you might not care. You get what I'm saying? You might not care if you get spoiled or not. Or it's not necessarily a spoiler because you really don't know what part they're going to play. But I don't want to see something like they're fighting someone and then now I'm anticipating that fight before it even happens you know what i'm saying like i want to be surprised at these characters i don't want to see i don't want to know what they look like and stuff like that i hope you guys can understand why i'm not going to watch it i've been talking about this pretty much on every video um for like the past month or so about this because i just don't want to be spoiled i keep you know what i'm saying especially what happened to me in vinland saga like i'm a person i'm very analytical i analyze pretty much everything i read between the lines of a lot of things and i can kind of because you know what i'm saying like with vinland saga you know what i'm saying i watched the opening and i kind of figured out somebody was going to die before they actually died in watching the episodes you get what i'm saying and you know just how things was going like i think i you know what i'm saying and just having that knowledge of the opening you know what i mean so i don't want to want the same thing to happen here i'm um, so i'm just gonna listen to it um listen to the song i mean it's been well, we're 70 episodes deep and they they changed a couple of words in the song in the opening i don't know if it's going to be the same song um or they're going to change it up again who knows but i know they're gonna have new images and stuff like that um and and if they change the ending song i'm gonna listen to it too um, so I hope you guys understand my perspective on this and don't be mad at me that I didn't watch the opening with you. Uh, okay. So it's not that I don't want to have that experience of watching the opening, but maybe later on when, um, when the characters are established for the arc and stuff like that, then when I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe at then I'll watch the opening. Okay, so you guys can let me know when it's safe. If you want to, you can let me know when it's safe to watch the opening where I know that, okay, there's not going to be any more new characters. So I can see if it's fire, if it's good, as in what they show in there. Okay, so we're going to 
jump into these episodes. We know that Gun and Killua is about to meet up with Jin, with Jing or whoever, whoever is there, because they, you know, they left it a mystery. So I don't exactly know if it's gonna be him or it's gonna be somebody else. Because it could be somebody else knowing Jing. You know what I'm saying? Knowing him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what he's already put his son through. I mean, knowing him, it could be somebody. It could be another okie dog. It'd be like, oh, you thought you found me? No, it's not me. So let's go see what this is all about. And we'll be right back here for the review. Okay, remember to like this video. Smash that like button. As these all of these YouTubers say, smash that like button. Anyways, man, just leave a like on the video. Highly appreciate it. It helps the channel to grow. Thank you guys so much. I see you guys for the review. All right. So, let's talk about it, man. This 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 these episodes were crazy. Crazy it, it, to the point where even high I had to really like kind of like take a step back. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, "Yo, am I still watching Hunter Hunter?" Is this really still the same show that I've been watching for the last 70 odd episodes? Like, this thing went from 0 to 100 in like crazy, crazy amount of time. This The setup was so minimal. The setup was so minimal compared to the first two arcs of the show. The setup was very minimal. Well, it's been like three arcs. You know what I'm saying? It was very minimal. Like, it was like, oh, we're going to reminisce about Jin and un and understand who who Jing means to Kite and who Kite is. And then we just, j j just for half a episode, and then we're just going to jump into this Chimera stuff. We not wasting no time. This is crazy. Those were crazy. So let's, like, let, let, let's talk about it, like... I can see why you guys are telling me this is one of the best. I already can see why this is going to be probably the best arc in the show. The reason why I'm saying that um, is because of the setup. How quickly we get to the more ominous stuff in this arc. Whereas in the earlier arcs were so, they were so, even though they had stakes to them, it wasn't on this level. You get what I'm saying? There were stakes, but not on this level where there's a possibility of human extinction at stake here. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could build a kingdom over there and become so powerful now that they're going to gain the, the ability of Nen. Because them, if if they eat, dude, with the arrows and the arrow ability, if, they, if the queen eats him... That simply means that the next batch of Chimera Ants, they're going to figure out how to use Nen. They're probably going to be born knowing how to use Nen. So that's going to be crazy in and in itself. You know what I'm saying? So they know how to read. They, they are evolving at a rapid pace. And that's what's scary about it. That is what's scary about it. Anytime a species is evolving so quickly, so quickly, so quickly, so quickly, they're probably in, they are probably in, in, um, in, in, in a race to become the superior race. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just nuts to me. And I mean, the tone, oh my God, they're using music to set the song, the tone so well they knew when to use music when not to use dude everything went quiet when when the dude when the girl got shot everything went quiet it was just an ominous scene it like you felt like you're watching a horror movie it was nuts right oh man that was crazy that was crazy man and as i said man i could see why this is you know what I'm saying? Is yet to be seen if I'm going to say, you know, one of the best arcs in anime history, probably the best because I haven't watched the entire thing yet. So I can't say it is or it's not, you know what I'm saying? But it's definitely shaping up to be 
to be a great arc better than any um that we've seen before in the story um because the writing in it is incredible the way out here telling the story is incredible um connecting dots from here and there from stuff you know us knowing about the characters that we already know about new characters that come in And some sorry about that guys somebody is pulling something outside my door um, and it's like dragging it on the floor and I don't want to go out here to address it because you know it might just cause an argument for no reason but anyways this is absolutely incredible absolutely incredible the writing is is um it's on another level and i can already see that at the end there at the end of that um episode 80 last episode we did gon looks pissed he is pissed because i think he recognized who it is because remember it's gon who saved their life back in the, uh, the hunter exam he looks pissed okay And as I said, man, from the beginning, the way out Kite, they were showing Kite, Kite, he looks worried. You can see worry in his eyes. Oh, man. The stakes are high, man. The stakes are high. And these ants, just talking about the ants, I mean, Kurt, the one that, you know, came from, um, the yeah, the one, his name is Colt, right, as the ant, but he's the one that came from Kurt, right? And Reyna, I don't know who Reyna became. Is Reyna, um, I'm thinking maybe Reyna is the, uh, is the Zan. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. Because, I mean, it's the only similarity that I, that I could think of. Or maybe, you know, but they definitely, definitely, Colt is definitely Kurt. So, it's pretty neat, man. I still don't know what this this little teddy bear looking one is up to the one that's killing people with water. Like, I don't know what, what is his plan? Just walk around killing? Like, I don't get him. Um, so apparently the king needs royal guards. So there's three specific ones that she has there, you know, hasn't hatched yet, um, that she's waiting on to, to hash, to hatch. I mean, so those those guys are be going to be very specific they're going to be the ones that you know like directly under the king um so oh my god man the stakes and that's all i can say man is that that's what makes it so good already five episodes in because it's just the stakes are super high and you don't know what's going to happen because you're so afraid for these people we got we got regular dudes out here catching catching bullets you know what i'm saying without nen ability without the ability to use nen so they're already on another level they're crazy crazy evolving you know what i'm saying their evolution is so fast it's crazy i know i've said that probably 10 times already but it's so astonishing it is so unbelievable that you're like, man, are they really going to take over? Are they really going to take over? Because, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they haven't really gone up against anybody that, you know, that's super strong, like like Kite or, you know, a Gunner Killua yet. But I can see, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows what they're going to be like when, when they, you know start using then which i think is inevitable at this point so i'm you know what i mean so i'm just already thinking that they're going to get nan because they already they got the you know with the arrows and stuff they're going to learn how to use nan that's coming they you know what i'm saying because without it they're not going to stand a chance against any pro hunter period they know this because the one what they're gonna do have this spider dude fight every fight everybody no i don't think so because he's not using gyo so that's why i'm like he has a natural ability to just see aura so that's what i'm thinking so but yeah man his episodes are definitely good i i wanted to watch more honestly but the way out that episode ended man 
like my heart couldn't take it anymore because i was already like up in arms about everything like so su like surprised about the stuff that was going on because it was like it was unlike anything that i've seen in hunter hunter um up to that point so it was very surprising and i'm telling you i'm sitting here and my heart was i could feel my heart rapidly racing and i wear i wear a fitbit and i can check it you know what i'm saying i could check my heart rate and my heart rate was like it was like in the 90s it was crazy so you know what i'm saying so it, it was crazy Ooh. i've calmed down a bit now is you know what i'm saying it's at 80 so it's not so bad right now so definitely definitely man um, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment on this episode, these episodes, man. Make sure you leave a comment. I want to know what you guys thought the first time you watched this damn arc in Hunter x Hunter. Not the arc, but these five episodes specifically. Like, when you saw them kill, kill the girl, right? The girl with the bees. When you saw them kill her, like, what was your thought process? You know what I'm saying? Did, did, did your adrenaline spike like mine did? you know what i'm saying like oh man that was that was so crazy that's the craziest scene i've ever seen in this show it's the i mean and we've seen some crazy shit we've seen some exciting stuff but that was that was dark beyond dark that was midnight pitch black dark you know what i'm saying like horror movie stuff you know what i'm saying and we're literally watching a show where kids are the stars <laughs> you know what i mean so it's 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 just crazy but leave a like man i would really appreciate it we're trying to get uh we're gonna try to get 50 likes on this one so if if you are watching the review just make sure you like the video before um before you leave and of course subscribe if you're new and we all know what it is if you're a terror squad i am mr terror by react and i will see you guys next time for some more hunter hunter peace